Good morning, I'm Vic Sinise, and this is your Euro Nurse News Update. Today, we take a closer look at new research exploring treatment options for men diagnosed with incidental prostate cancer. That's cancer unexpectedly discovered during surgery for what was thought to be benign prostate disease. July 30th, 2025, a study from the University of Montreal Health Center suggests that patients with higher grade incidental prostate cancer may actually live longer if they undergo radical prostatectomy rather than radiation therapy. Incidental prostate cancer is rare, usually detected after a transurethral resection of the prostate or TERP as we like to call it, performed to relieve urinary symptoms. Because it's uncommon, doctors have long debated whether surgery or radiation is the better approach. Researchers reviewed data from the SEER database covering the years 2004 through 2015. They identified 1,466 men diagnosed with stage CT1A or CT1B lesions found by inadverse and prostate cancer after TERP. Of these, 770 chose radical prostatectomy, while 696 received radiation therapy. There were some key differences at baseline. Men who underwent surgery were younger, a median age of 62 versus 70 in the radiation group. They also had slightly lower PSA levels and lower Gleason scores. Now here's where it gets interesting. At five years, cancer-specific mortality was less than 1% after radical prostatectomy, compared with nearly 7% after radiation. Hmm. After adjusting for other factors, surgery was linked to a 65% reduction in the risk of dying from prostate cancer. The survival advantage was most pronounced in men with higher-grade disease, those with Gleason scores of 8 to 10. In fact, for this subgroup, the risk of dying from prostate cancer was about 70% lower with surgery than with radiation. But the study does have its limitations. It did not include details about the extent of surgery performed or the intensity of radiation given. And because it was retrospective, we can't assume causation, only association. Even so, the investigators conclude that for men with higher grade incidental prostate cancer, radical prostatectomy should be strongly considered over just radiation therapy. Their message is clear. When incidental prostate cancer is discovered, especially with aggressive Gleason scores, surgery may offer the best chance for survival. The full findings were published in the Journal of Urologic Oncology. That's your Euronurse News Update. I'm Vic Sinise. Stay with us for more developments in urologic care. Hey, in this week's special episode, past president Glenn Sully takes strides for charity, walking to support the SUNA Foundation's mission to advance urologic nursing, patient care, and research initiatives. Join us tomorrow at 9 a.m. on Euronurse as we take you behind the scenes of this inspiring event share stories of hope and community, and show you how every step can contribute to the meaningful change in the lives of patients and healthcare professionals alike. For Euro Nurse News, I'm Vic Sinise.